bounce. Oh, hi friends, welcome back to the clubhouse. My name is Bailey. Can you guess what animal I'm pretending to be? That's right, a bunny. I've been hopping around like a bunny all day. Hop, hop. Yesterday, I went outside with my grandma to the park. And I was hopping all around. I saw the most beautiful things. Trees, flowers, everything. It was so awesome. Ho! Ho! Jumping all around, are you? Hey, Ollie. I sure am. I've been hopping around and seeing so many beautiful things. The park is lovely. It's true. I know an even more amazing place for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho! Ho! Follow me through. Oh, hi friends! Hola! <laughs> I'm Luis, the handyman. Today I'm watering all the seeds I just planted in my little garden here. <laughs> I'm growing tomatoes right here, and over here I'm planting strawberries. And then this spot is going to have peppers. Mmm, that is spicy! <laughs> You know, this garden reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Great! All right, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins in the very beginning, when God created the most perfect garden. It had big tree, beautiful flowers, and lots of plants. Some of them even had food on them. And there were so many animals. Look at this place. <laughs> I told you it was perfect, and God made it all. But he wasn't done. As beautiful and perfect as the garden was, God knew it needed his most amazing creation. So God made people. <laughs> he called the man Adam. Now wave to the kids, Adam. And the woman was called Eve. Now the garden truly was perfect. God gave Adam an important job to do. God told him to name all the animals and take care of them. Let's see if you know the names of these animals. Ready? Uh, what's this guy's name? <laughs> yeah, a frog, that's right. <laughs> okay, who is this? <laughs> yes, it's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> okay, now, this one is harder. Ready? What's his name? <laughs> yes, he's a kangaroo. Boinky, boinky. <laughs> Great job. So Adam and Eve lived in God's wonderful garden, and they knew that God's way is perfect. They could eat fruit from any of the trees, except for one. In fact, that was the only rule. God told them to never, ever, ever, ever eat that one fruit. Oh no, what are they doing? Is Eve going to eat the fruit? Everybody say, oh no, ready? Oh no, no, Eve ate the fruit, wait. What is she doing? 
she's handing it to Adam, everybody say, oh no! Ready? Oh no! No! They both ate the fruit. They disobeyed God. And because they didn't do the things God's way, God had to send them away from his beautiful garden. God still loved Adam and Eve very much. They still had food to eat and animals to take care of, but everything was a lot harder. It would have been so much better if they had followed God's way. Because remember, God's way is perfect. When God wants you to do something, remember, his way is perfect. So jump, jump, and go God's way. Hey there, Holly. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. <laughs> Thanks, Ollie. Awesome story. God created everything, and it's so awesome. God's way is the best way. God's way is perfect. I am so excited to hop around and tell all of my friends. But before that, let's do some worship. friends now let's learn our Bible verse I'll say it first and then you repeat it ready God's way is perfect 2nd Samuel 22 31 great job let's do that again God's way is perfect 2nd Samuel 22 31 Awesome job, friends. Now it's time to pray. On the count of three, I want you to clap your hands together. Ready? One, two, three, clap. Fold your fingers, 
close your eyes and think about God. Dear God, thank you so much for this wonderful, beautiful world that you created. Thank you so much for all of the plants and the trees and the animals that I see around me. I pray that I have a great rest of my day and I can tell my friends about you and your creation. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, awesome job, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye! Here's everything we've got going on at Twin Lakes Kids. Check it out. Hi friends, I have a super exciting announcement. Every Friday on our social media page, we wanna feature one of you. We're calling it Friend of the Week. If you wanna be that friend, email us at kids at tlc.org and we'll send you more information. Send us your best jokes to be featured on Silly Saturday. Go to tlc.org slash kids to submit. Find us on Facebook and Instagram where we post new things every day. Devos, worship songs, this or that Thursday, and Silly Saturday. Check it out at Twin Lakes Kids. Do you have a prayer request? We are praying for our Twin Lakes Kids families. If there are any specific prayer requests you have, head to tlc.org kids to send us yours.